Okay, on this White House Facebook story, we've got some breaking news. Facebook's releasing a statement on collusion with the White House. This is Facebook. Quote, we've partnered with government experts, health authorities, and researchers to take aggressive action against misinformation about COVID-19 and vaccines to protect public health. So far, we've removed more than 18 million pieces of COVID misinformation, removed accounts that repeatedly break these rules, and connected more than 2 billion people to reliable information about COVID-19 and COVID vaccines across our apps. Huh. Reliable. Let's talk about that. We have Guy Benson, Fox News contributor and host of the Guy Benson radio show. All right, you heard it as soon as I did. What you make of it? Well, that's sort of some PR that they're <laughs> trying to say, look, well, no, we're actually good. And when we're doing these good things and we've cracked down on bad things, Larry, I think that we agree. We're against misinformation on anything, including COVID and vaccines and any of these very important subjects related to a pandemic that's killed millions of people. What worries me is if you have the federal government, the White House, basically, and Biden today, the president accused Facebook of killing people. He right. said they are killing people. That's a direct quote. Yep. That's a very clear message to Facebook. Do what we want you to do. We think that this is misinformation. We're going to flag it for you. And Facebook saying, oh, yes, we will go ahead and get rid of it. That is actually a bit alarming to see that because... Not that I'm necessarily against what they're doing at this exact moment, but what's to stop them from saying, okay, let's now start calling the shots in other misinformation That's right. on guns, on the environment, on any other issue. And once you open the door to this, then they kick it in. Other point, briefly. It was not that long ago, just a few months ago, that if you and I were sitting here talking about the lab leak theory, and someone posted a clip of us talking about it, that, it would be banned from social that's media. That's right. It was that's misinformation. Right. It wasn't misinformation, but the powers that be, the smart set, deemed it mm -hmm. to be di uh, dis or misinformation. That was a huge mistake. They did the same thing with the Hunter Biden laptop story. They have hurt their own credibility as arbiters of what counts as misinformation or real. And therefore, they can't look around and like, oh, shock of all shocks. People are skeptical and upset about this. And the, look, how many times has my friend Tony Fauci flip-flopped on his, quote, information? It's just the science. He's quote on a, a, a hundred different things. Um, I don't really know what information is. There's information and there's information. Be honest with you, there's information in the eyes of the beholder. Nobody has a monopoly on information. What about the whole debate, Guy, about whether to reopen the economy? What about Texas reopening and everyone screaming at them? Right. Then, you know, Neanderthals. Neanderthals. DeSantis reopening in Florida and everyone screaming at him. Facebook would have banned all that stuff. As you said, they banned Hunter Biden. They'll probably ban supply-side tax cuts coming up. The other point I want to ask you about is... Why is this not Big Brother watching you? This is what Trump argued in his op-ed piece in his lawsuit. This is collusion. Yeah, because it's more than just big tech. It is big tech explicitly being not necessarily ordered, but mm. awfully close by the White House. Right? If you have the president, as I said, the president saying this private company is killing people. I'm the president. We control regulations. You better do what we want. It's not the government technically doing it. The Supreme Court has actually looked at this. If the, if the government forces private entity to do something that's censorship, mm. that is tantamount to a First Amendment abuse. Again, I'm not defending misinformation, but I think the, the mind doesn't have to wander terribly far to mm. think of how this principle yeah. could be abused and already has been abused, even within the context of COVID, the examples that we've already given. And this is an administration that is waging antitrust war on corporations left and right. And that adds to it. That's going to make it much harder to keep free speech. Just think about that. Guy Benson, terrific stuff.